Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about social media tools and how they can help with your business. The three I'm going to be focusing on are Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So Facebook was created in 2004 as a social networking site, and today it is the largest social network in the world with 1.2 billion users every day. It has been integrated by many websites because of its popularity, which lets its users use their accounts to sign into different services across the web. So how it works. So Facebook has many different tools integrated on their site. They have Facebook ads, which lets you reach either the entire audience of the 1.2 billion users, as mentioned before, or you can use a certain target audience that you want certain people only to see your product or brand. You have Facebook pages, which establishes your business's presence on Facebook. Um, so you can find out about, um, people can find out about you and your business and connect with you. There's Messenger which automates responses and creates messenger bots to connect with you and serve your customers. Um, there is a audience network, which lets you extend the reach of your Facebook and as well as Instagram ads and other mobile apps and websites. And lastly, there's a tool called Atlas, which lets you see how your ads performed, um, the types of people you reached um, across devices, browsers, publishers, and channels. Next, we're gonna talk about Instagram. So Instagram, it launched in 2010 and it has over 700 million users as of today. So Instagram is a photo social platform for sharing photos and videos from a smartphone. Users have a profile and a newsfeed, which emphasizes on mobile use and visual sharing. And users are allowed to interact with one another by following, having followers commenting, liking, tagging, private messaging, and saving the photos that you see. Instagram it was bought out by Facebook and you can now link both accounts, which allows companies to tell their business story at the center of visual discovery to inspire action and build their brands. Instagram offers a bio description at the top of the page where companies can insert a direct, a direct link to the website, which allows you to drive more traffic to your website, as well as it offers in-app filters to enhance the color and moods of your photos that you are posting. You can also include hashtag under your photo descriptions, which lump together posts into communities linked by that keyword. Um, and they are able to be more readily discoverable, those pictures that you have the hashtags under. So let's talk about LinkedIn. So LinkedIn launched in 2003. It has a total of 467 million users. And LinkedIn is more of a business focused social net networking site and it helps people network professionally. It lets users create a network of professionals by connecting with business colleagues, clients, and associates you already know in your industry. You may also set up or join groups to share industry news and ideas. LinkedIn's main use is for networking, and it's also used for research by allowing to find out more about the people or organizations you do business with by reviewing their backgrounds, credential, and network. This network has also become popular for recruiters to seek out eligible candidates and for companies to post open positions that allows users to search the openings or be contacted by recruiters through private messaging. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I'm going to uh, respond to some of the questions about them. Who primarily uses the social media site, demographics, why do users use this tool, what do they expect from it, and why did they turn to it? So let's start with Facebook. Why are we really using it? Facebook is the biggest social network in the world. People use Facebook just because they have to use it. Facebook currently has 800 million users worldwide. According to the study, people use Facebook to fulfill two basic social needs. First one is the need to belong and the need for self-presentation. Facebook use is also influenced by other outside factors such as cultural background, social demographics, variables, and personality traits. So here are a few reasons for which a person might have to use Facebook. They want to remember their friend's birthday. They want to read the news. It is their duty to write a comment and like a post. They want to be an attention seeker. They want to watch people secretly. They are getting bored, so they want to hide on something. Facebook, 21% of adult internet users, 58% of entire adult population. So 
Facebook is used primarily by adults of both sexes, but significantly female in the prime of their active prof professional careers for social interaction. What they expect from Facebook? Video Videos are the next step in the social media evolution and will most likely dominate the online advertising and marketing industry. Is anyone legitimately making money on Facebook or using it for business? Yes, Facebook is making money, that's clear. What do people use Instagram? Instagram is the iPhone photographer's app of choice and it's not just because of those slice and dice filters. They also found Instagram to be in some ways rather theropathic. A person or a company starts an account to promote him or herself. People nowadays don't want to read text, they want to look through photos. Instagram, 26% of adult internet users, 21% of entire adult population. Let's talk about LinkedIn. Why do people use LinkedIn regularly? LinkedIn is a great place to get new connections, get introduced to new people and find new opportunities. People share lots of interesting data there, like who is working where, on what position in the company, where she or he was working before, who, who he knows. People use LinkedIn to find customers, build their brand, and to get expertise from other specialists in their industry. There are many industrial leaders on LinkedIn, and you will simply not find these experts and industrial leaders active on the other social media sites. LinkedIn is the place where the best people go to meet the best people. LinkedIn, 28% of adult internet users, 23rd 20, 23% of entire adult population. LinkedIn is used primarily by older professionals of both sexes, but significantly male, to market themselves and their service. What people expect on LinkedIn? You can do much more on LinkedIn these days, and one of those features is certainly content publishing more, and more people choose LinkedIn posts as a platform to publish their content. More connections means more readers. That means more leads. That means more business. LinkedIn is a place to find and be found with few opportunities for interaction. Thank you for listening to me. Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same company. So their main revenue comes from the game and from advertisement. The advertisement revenue features comprehensive targeting options that are regularly improving functionality, performance and reporting. The revenue they receive from the game is through partnership with like Zigna, from whom they get a share of sales of popular games like Farm Mail, Mafia Wars, Candy Crush, etc. And Lincoln main revenue comes from the services of recruitment they both sold to the professional recruiters and the employees. Marketing revenue comes from a combination of advertising sold to online marketers and the sale of sponsor update. These are the posts to a target or audience and the remaining revenue comes from the premium subscription from users. LinkedIn is free to join, offers its members a basic membership. However, it makes money like selling their premium membership. Since Facebook bought Instagram, users can now use of Facebook's advertising platform to advertise on Instagram too. This allows you to target specific group of consumer using information such as demographic information, habits and more. On LinkedIn, publishers decide who, what, when, where, and how many ads are delivered to their audiences. Reimagining the entire user experience requires as open-minded perspective regarding what a publisher content and ad strategy delivered to its audience. Instagram and Facebook are a great place to end current substance with great images or videos. Use of Instagram and Facebook ads provides audience with a sneak peek of the content you are looking at. And on LinkedIn, the content can earn you money is using affiliated links to earn commissions, selling your own products, services, share updates from your business and personal profile, share links in group and publishing posts on your personal page. As we all know, the relationship between a brand and its consumer has dramatically changed. And a big reason for that is social media. For example, through social media communication, companies today have the opportunity to get even closer to the customers and create a stronger relationship. But all social media platforms are different. And therefore, when working with social marketing, it is important to be aware of both the strengths and the weaknesses of each platform. Today, we're going over Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. 
And now we're going to focus on the value and benefit each of those platforms will generate for your brand. As mentioned before, Facebook is the largest social network in the world and you will reach millions of people just by being present on it. But looking a little deeper, what is it that it actually generates? So when you publish interesting content in form of news and pictures and products on your Facebook business page, your brand can raise awareness, you can engage your audience, and you can boost sales and even create a loyalty to your customers. Another way to use Facebook is to use the Facebook ads, which if it's done correctly can increase the traffic to your brand's website. Today it is even possible for a brand to use information such as location, age, gender, uh, interest, and so forth to make sure that a specific ad just becomes visual for a specific target audience. As understood, by being present on Facebook, you'll reach millions of people. And it is important for you to know that these people might be current, but also prosper customer of yours. Looking at a successful brand on Facebook would be, for example, Starbucks. Uh, what they do is that they emphasize on videos. They have realized that Facebook videos actually get twice the reach as photo posts and it gets higher ranking in the newsfeed. So what they do is that they use video teasers to drive users to various blogs and it is obvious that almost all of the most successful brands on Facebook knows the importance of video and has incorporated it into their social media strategy. Instagram, on the other hand, is first and foremost a visual platform. And also here, when brands use hashtags, they can create awareness and they can become more visible and generate more traffic to their website as Facebook. But it's also maybe a better way for a company to tell their story just by publishing these pictures and videos, which is very easily and accessible for consumers. The consumers can relate and connect to the brand. Today is also online shopping is very important and one essential element of it is to have creative and attention grabbing and professional photos. Here is Instagram big. So if you use this correct, you can promote your brand's products and you can increase sale. Another way is for example companies to regram their posts from their audience, which by so they can build a stronger relationship between themselves and their customers and at the same time they create can create a more personal and relevant feeling to it. One would say that one of the more successful brands on Instagram is Nike. They have 71.8 million followers today. And what they do or the winning concept they have is that they mix it all up. They use different type of content, uh, all from celebrity photo shoots to just the products or to their audience uh, pictures, like regramming. In addition, they both post, uh, they both post uh, still images, they post animated image, images, and they post videos. So Nike notes the importance of keeping their audience entertained. LinkedIn, on the other hand, is a little bit different. Uh, it also creates awareness of the audience, but it also shares career, it's a possibility to share career opportunities and uh, scale the world of mouth marketing. So it has become a marketing tool used to find job candidates, which uh, who in their turn can, for example, make a significant contribution to your business success. When communication is done properly, properly, it has the potential to create powerful relationships. And by developing these relationships with both potential, but also current customers and employees and referral sources, it can significantly enhance your company's success. Therefore, LinkedIn today is the number one place for a business human resource and recruiting department. A company that is viewed as uh, having a taken advantage of LinkedIn's opportunities, Google, which is actually ranked as having one of the best LinkedIn company's pages. One of the reasons for that is probably that they continuously post updates like two to three times a week, uh, and where most of the content actually is from uh, recent Google initiatives. They have realized that search engines actually rank link in pages and post very high in the search results pages, which is a great advantage for their marketing. Social media usage can cause a risk to a company's reputation by creating negative publicity. Legal issues may arise if a company provides inaccurate information or posts reckless comments. 
There is always a risk of hacking, spyware, and bugs amongst posts and might have company confidential information leaked outside the company. These risks can be avoided by establishing an approval process involving a senior leader for any social media communication. Having a sophisticated, having a sophisticated security system is common in high-profile co companies. Some example of major fails by organization are Facebook. NBC LA posted a news article on the death of a couple. NBC LA told readers and followers to use the like function on Facebook to send condolences. This action was not taken well by readers and followers. Another example is Twitter. American Airlines set up an automatic tweet to all tags related to American Airlines, and this was insensitive to followers' issues and hurt their reputation by, pro by not providing good customer service. LinkedIn had suffered a major security breach and informed their users that and there was an intrusion by a Russian hacker who leaked 6.5 million of the site's passwords. We can learn from these companies' failures by taking extra precaution when posting news, tweeting to a consumer, and spend the extra funds on tighter IT security.